What is up, guys? Live Life Vape back again with another video. Got a little, uh, little story before I show you what I got. Obviously, you know from the title what I got, so I can't even, you know, surprise anybody. But, uh, the reason why I got this tank is because two nights ago, I was redoing, um, doing my juice in my Lance tank. And <clears throat> I kept putting it on to, uh, after I put the juice in, I kept putting it on to put it on my on my device and it kept reading reading no atomizer so I'm like what the fuck what the hell's going on here I was like this shit's in here tight what's going on and it kept pissing me off because I really wanted the babe because I was stressed out because that I was on my lunch break <clears throat> and work just sucked that day so I was getting aggravated so I had a pair of pliers in my glove compartment I decided to oh yeah by the way I was doing all this while I was sitting in the drive-thru for Taco Bell. Because I was just, you know, bored. And I wanted to be. So I took the pliers and I twisted the... I twisted the um, coil out. I was trying to get it out and my whole tank just snapped. Something went wrong and the entire freaking tank just cracked and a piece of glass flew off. That shit really pissed me off because I'm like, well, now I have no tank. I have juice that I can't vape. And what am I going to do? So my buddy had a Kanger uh, sub tank uh, spare. He let me use it for two days and actually the next day. And then I went over to my vape shop to get a tank. No luck there because they were closed. <laughs> For, you know, for no reason. Apparently the guy that works there was too drunk the night before, so he didn't want to come in that day. Anyway, so I went to the uh, Paper Town, what's it called? Paper Town Vape Co. in Bohemia. They're a new shop um, that, you know, just popped up on the map. You know, I've seen them before. I headed over there because there's this other guy on YouTube called Quest for Vape. He's from, he's locally around there. And he makes videos in that shop. So I said, I'm going to go in there and see what all the fuss is about. It's a really nice place. Really nice people to work there. And the guy that hooked me up with the Arctic Tank. And this thing looks tits money with that black on black. Awesome. Every tank I've ever gotten has been regular um, silver. And this thing looks really good on my 50 watt with the sleeve on there. Looks really freaking nice. Also... I got new juice, not my usual that I usually get, something new. This is called Panda Express from Strong Island Vapes. They make some really good shit. Um, so, oh man. So, let's have a vape on this tank. This thing is a beast. It's got, I believe, yeah, it's got four air flow vents on the side. I was comparing it to my Heracles that I haven't been able to use because I haven't had coils for it. And that only has two airflow slots, one on each side. So this is more than that. Let's have a vape. I just woke up, so... <coughs> I'm trying to... My throat's a little dry. Uh, 4.6 volts, 35.2 watts, 0 0.6 ohms. The flavor on this juice is amazing. I'm not really a fan of cherry and lemonade in a vape. But this is really good. It is really, really good. And I feel like I'm doing a juice review at the same time I'm doing a tank review. But whatever. I'm just going to let it flow. It's really, really good. It tastes like those Pez dispenser candies. It is so freaking good. And I haven't gotten tired of it yet. Panda Express. I don't know why they call it that, but it is some good ass juice. And with these dual coil turbine coils in this tank, it makes it so much better. Now, disclaimer, <clears throat> which is true. <clears throat> the flavor on this right off the bat isn't going to be the best. It's going to be alright, but it's not going to be good. After a few refills of juice in there, it's going to taste so much better. I filled this thing up, I believe, like six times already. And this thing tastes so good, man. These coils do the job, and this airflow is amazing. This thing goes up high. 
but I have it set low because <clears throat> my throat's still dry and I'm not trying to like cough my brains out or anything. <clears throat> so yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple fill up. It fills up from the bottom, so you take it off, you unscrew the bottom, put your juice in there. Um, there's two slots to put the juice in around the shaft. They're kind of narrow, but they will work. You can use a drip bottle, but it's better if you have a syringe. But I used to I used to drip a bottle, and you know I'm careful with it and all that other stuff. Holds a decent amount of juice, not you know a lot. I forget how much it holds. I actually have the box in the car, so I can't even read you the specs. A lot of people were giving this a lot of shit. Uh, Rip Trippers did a review on it. He didn't, he didn't really give it any good positive reviews, unfortunately. So I was kind of getting disappointed about it. I don't know if their opinions would change now, but this is a really good tank, in my opinion. I wasn't going to let the naysayers kill my vibe. I said, I'm going to vape the shit out of this tank for a couple days and give my honest opinion. It looks awesome. It tastes great. Um, the coils are pretty common. You can find them pretty much everywhere now, so you don't have to worry about that. What sucks is it's not backwards compatible with the Atlantis, so I couldn't use my Atlantis coils that I got sitting over here, so I'm going to have to figure out how to use those if I have to get another tank or I can sell them to somebody or something like that. Um, they're Triton replacement coils, better than the regular standard um, uh, 0.3 ohm Atlantis coils. These, there's a 0.5 and a 0.2. I'm gonna, I'm using the 0.5 right now, and I'm gonna vape the shit out of that until it's done. Then I'm gonna throw that 0.2 in there, and then I'm gonna have to buy a pack of five. That's just how it goes. Um, this sucker can go up to I believe 4.4, yeah, 5.4 volts. That's 48 watts. This thing only goes up to 50, so that's not bad on this 50. And usually. I was never able to go up to 5 volts on here. And I noticed when I put the Kanga sub tank on here that my low voltage was actually, you know, I was able to crank this thing up way more. But it's all that resistance. So, let's crank this sucker up to 5 and hopefully I don't, you know, die. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <coughs> it's too early for me. <coughs> I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I never cough from a vape, but I just woke up like I said, and I'm just not. I'm not used to it yet. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get there. But anyways, if you're in the market for a subum tank, this is the original Arctic tank. There's the Ar there's a bunch of Arctics out now. I think the latest one is like the V8 or something like that. I bought this for like forty bucks. You know, I had the Atlantis version one. I had the original Heracles. Now this. They're all the first in their line. They're really good tanks. You know, when I first jumped on the sub -ohm train, per se, it was quite an amazing uh, experience. Just coming from a Nautilus, hitting that sub -ohm game. Vapor, you know, the flavor was enhanced. Vapor production was enhanced. This experience is awesome. You know, I'm never going to be a rebuilder. I don't care for it, you know, I appreciate, you know, the guys that do it, and they blow big clouds, but as I've said in videos previously, I'm not a cloud chaser, but I like decent amount of vapor production, and I'm big on flavor, because that'll what gonna keep me coming back for more, and this Panda Express is banging with that, it is really freaking good, um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is the Arctic from Horizon Tech. I'm pretty sure you can get it cheaper on, you know, like, somewhere online. 40 bucks, I feel like, is around the price that would be, you, you would normally pay for a tank just coming out on the market, which is standard. I think maybe it should have been a little lower, but every place, you know, has different prices. <clears throat> wow. So, yeah, this is, this is the... Arctic from Horizon Tech. I'm going to have one more vape and I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Give me my insights and opinion on this tank. 
like I said, if you're a fan of cherry lime or cherry um lemonade, sorry, go check out Strong Island Panda Express because I've been doing this right now. I'm not even doing a juice review. I'm just gonna, you know, told you about the juice already. Strong Island's got a bunch of flavors in their line already, and they are a Long Island company. They're local, so it makes it even better. Support them definitely, and their juice is really, really good. So that that is cool too. So go check them out. See what flavors you like. I happen to love their Tropic Clouds. That's my go-to from them. But I'm trying to expand my horizons a little bit, and this is definitely doing it. <clears throat> I'm done. Alright guys, live, life, vape. Remember always, live your life and vape on. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.